Does the sun have an evil twin? Is the earth getting bigger? Do people shoot light from their eyeballs? The answer to all these questions is no, but let's go on a journey through my favorite disproven hypotheses. Number one, there is another star in our solar system named Nemesis, because what else would you name something like that? Nemesis is allegedly the reason for all of Earth's mass extinctions. What happened to the Devonian fishies? Evil sun. What caused the Permian extinction? Evil sun. Needless to say, there is no other supporting evidence for Nemesis, the sun's evil twin. Number two. This one is also about the perceived patterns of mass extinctions in Earth's history. The Shiva hypothesis poses that the solar system motion through the galaxy is responsible for natural disasters. And it's true that encounters with other stars could potentially dislodge comets, asteroids, fling them towards the Earth. But most major extinctions were not caused by meteor impacts, so there's not really anything to this theory. Okay. Number three is great because it's two competing hypotheses about whether the Earth is getting bigger or smaller. Both of them come from not understanding plate tectonic. And before we did understand plate tectonic, some folks thought that the Earth shrank as it cooled, like a sweater in the wash, creating mountain ranges. On the other hand, some people saw mountain ranges and said, ah yes, the Earth is adding mass as it grows. Neither of these are right. Number four. Luminiferous ether, my drag name, and also a fun 19th century term that means, uh-oh, maybe there's some weird invisible thing that causes light to behave the way it does. Nature abhors a vacuum, right? So let's just fill that vacuum with stuff, and maybe our math will work better that way. Spoiler alert, it did not. Hey, has anybody heard anything about dark matter lately? Last but not least, emission theory. The ancient Greek idea that we shoot lights from our eyes at objects, and that's how we see. Where does the light come from? Tiny fires in our eyeballs. Who lit the fires? Aphrodite herself. Could there be another source of light, say in the sky, that precludes the need for laser eyes? Unknown. Hope this helps. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.